This problem is from the uh, Smith's Organic Chemistry textbook, uh, chapter 22, which is the carboxylic acid uh, derivative chapter. Now, I'm a visual learner, so I like to draw out these uh, kind of bond line structures here before I uh, try to name these. So we've got a CH, and we've got two ethyl groups off of that carbon, and then we have a C bonded to O and Cl. So this is a carboxylic acid. Let's go ahead and count the longest chain. So this is going to be a derivative of butanoic acid. Now there's an ethyl group at carbon 3. I'm sorry, carbon 2. All right. And remember how we changed the name. We chop off the ic acid and we add YL chloride, all right? So this is going to be 2-ethyl butanoyl chloride, all right? In molecule B, we've got C6H5. You should be rather familiar at this point in the course of that being a, a phenyl group, okay? And then that's bonded to a two oxygens. So it's going to be CO, O, and then CH3, okay? And we want to figure out, you know, what carboxylic acid this is. It's a derivative of uh, benzoic acid. And remember what we do to the end when we have esters. We drop off the ic acid and we add eight. Okay, now we have this methyl group here. So this is going to be methyl, methyl benzoate. In molecule C, this looks like an amide. Uh, it's really hard to see in this kind of typewritten structure. So let's draw it out and see what we got. We've got a CH3, a CH2. Here's our CO, all right? And then we've got the N. And then you can see the CH3 in parentheses here just means, you know, CH3. And then we got the ethyl group hanging off that. Okay, so let's try to figure out what the uh, carboxylic acid would be. It's not an oxygen there, but let's pretend like that's an OH. So that'd be um, three carbons long, so that's propanoic acid. Now remember what we do when we have an amide. Uh, we drop off the oic acid and we add amide. Okay. Now we've got this methyl group and this ethyl group, and we need to designate that they're attached to this nitrogen by using those italic nitrogens. So let's alphabetize this N ethyl. Okay. N methyl. All right, so that's how we designate that the ethyls and methyls are attached to the nitrogen. And then we add the ending, propanamide, okay? Propan, and then it's an amide functional group. So it ends with amide. In molecule D, this is nicely drawn out for us already. And we can see it's a derivative of formic acid. And we want to do something similar to what we did in B. We want to drop the ic acid and add 8. But we want to make sure that we include um, this ethyl group in the name. So that's going to be ethyl formate. Okay. In part E, 
we have an anhydride functional group, okay? Here's the anhydride here. Now this is unsymmetrical. We have uh, two different parts, right? So we need to think about what is the acid on the left? It's got one, two, three, so that's propanoic acid. And on the left, we have uh, benzoic acid. Now, we want to abbreviate, or um, I'm sorry, alphabetize the name, so it's going to be benzoic. And then propanoic. And then we add anhydride. at the end of the name there, okay? In molecule F, you want to identify the longest chain, and it uh, very nicely goes, you know, straight across the molecule. That's six carbons. Don't forget to count this carbon. So that's a hexane nitrile, and we've got an ethyl group at carbon three. So let's assemble that name, 3-ethyl, okay, hexane nitrile. So that's a bit of review of uh, naming some things. I hope this video helped you.